Hi YouTube, um, so today we are going to be going over how you dry brush something. It's a really good way of making something look aged without having to go mad with sanding it and layers and layers and layers of paint. Now today we're going to be doing this pine cabinet which I believe has been previously oiled so I just gave it a light sanding down. You can also give it a wash with uh, sugar soap. Um, this actually I'll show you is a, a, a pine cabinet for the wall. Uh, like the bathroom, you can see it's got a lid yeah. but I've actually took it off the wall and then I'm going to put it so it's used like a trunk almost so to, to store bits and pieces in. Now you will need a brush, I always find an older brush works best because the bristles at the top aren't so smooth um, which gives you that nice effect. Um, you'll need some paint, nah. Most videos you will see will actually be in, they'll dry brush in a white or a cream or something really light. But I'm actually going to use a really, really dark, dark blue today. And then what I'm going to do is once it's dry, I'm actually going to go over it in a, in a grey. Alright, so yeah, you will need a brush, some paint and then some paper. If you're using a big tin of paint um, I would say either use the lid put some paint on the lid um, or decant some into a small bowl because what you don't want to be doing is dipping the brush in and out of the pot because then your your brush will become saturated and therefore see that's not what you want because it's dry brushing right okay let's start so we're gonna start with the blue first and don't worry because when you start putting it on it will look a lot darker and you'll think I'm just painting it but you're not because once it dries it will soak in now I've got some paint in the lid here now make sure the paint is really really well stirred this is Valspar which everyone uh, in England sort of losing their mind over a little bit you can only get it in B&Q and these are just little tester pots I tend to paint and dry brush everything in the silk paint because I like the sort of the mid sheen you get rather than the matte um, obviously you're going to put a varnish over it anyway so if you are going to use a mat that's absolutely fine but my personal preference is silk and then you just start so you, you dab into the paint but make sure it's very very dry if you think oh, I put too much on you've got this you can dab, dab some off and obviously that is the point of dry brushing because your, your brush is almost dry and that's it and you just start applying it I personally would always say start around the back or at the side because if you start at the front and you've gone a bit mad, obviously you, that's the bit everyone's going to see. And you literally just start going over as I am. Not in any sort of direction because what you're doing is you're, you're pushing the paint in. You're really just going over. So if I run my hand over that now, it almost feels dry. I'm going to carry on with this and uh, I'll see you in a minute when I've done the top and I'll show you the, what you're going for. Now as I've started doing this I felt that the paint was actually um, a little bit thick so I've actually just put a tiny 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 amount of water um, in the paint just, just to thin it out a little because it was, it was getting quite thick so you, you can do that. Obviously every project is different, every bit of furniture is going to be different so when sort of people ask me advice, I always think a little bit of common sense can go a long way. You know, paint's too thick, pop a little bit of water in it. As you can see, this is covering really, really nicely. If I can show you the edge here as well. You, you really aren't being precise, and that, that is why I love doing this. You can do this with kids as well, because you are just putting it on. Now that edge there looks so nice because you can see the, the wood coming through and the colour really brings out the, the grain. It looks really aged. I shall carry on.
Okay, so now it's all dry. It does dry really, really quickly because you're using a dry brush to put it on. Just make sure it is, you know, go over it if you're not sure. Wait. Um, I've got the grey in the lid. One thing I would say is don't water down this grey at all because if you put water on this, it's going to start to lift and you're going to get like a, a washed effect. So you want this to be um, just as it is out of the, out of the, the tin. One thing I would say is to use a really old brush. I actually buy these really cheap brushes. You get them in the power shop. You get like 10 per pound. Uh, because the top of that is really all over the show. So when you're popping it on, you're going to get different sort of variations of where the paint goes. Right, so let's start. So you want to have your paint lid and obviously your, your bit of paper as well. Just want to just dab, dab, dab so lightly. You can always add to it. I have started doing the front, as you can see. And you just literally want to just... Very lightly pull it on. Now, it will look quite bright. And you think, oh, no, it's too bright. It, it will sink in. You can sort of go over the front. So, so, so lightly. And if you feel like it's gone on a bit thick, Go over it because again, like the dry brushing with the colour, you're, you're just pushing it in. Okay, so once it's dry, it will look like this. And now what you want to do is pop a tiny bit of water into the lid, mix up with the paint that you had left, and then get your brush, tab it in, get you know the ex excess water off, and then go over and that will give you that really washed, aged, battered look. And then you'll also get some of the wood coming through as well. Now if you'd have put the watered down paint on the blue, it would have looked nice, but it would have been like more like a wash. Whereas now you've got the different variation of where this bit went on thicker, this bit went on thinner. Then when you put the water over it, Show you on this bit. Water. See how much nicer that looks. Okay, so now the water's dried. I'm actually just going to put a little bit of this red. You can use any colour, obviously any colour variations you want, and you can do as many colours as you want. I'm just adding this red to the front it's got a bit of a, a nautical theme going to it so I'm just going to add this to just the front some of the corners I'm not going to put water over this I'm just going to really push it in and that's it I'm going to carry on with this red and then I'll show you when it's completely done completely finished. If you've got any questions go on my Facebook page which is Bam Tilly Interiors and I'm happy to answer any questions or take suggestions for what you want to see next. Thank you.